Hi, Dolly friends. This is Kitty. And I'm Tati. And, and welcome, welcome to Little Bottle Nursery. Our channel is dedicated to our love of dolls and creating fun and positivity in the doll hobby. So stick around and have some dolly fun. Hi, everyone. Welcome back, Dolly friends. How exciting! The stork has arrived again. For our new viewers here today, my name is Kitty and with my daughter Totty, we are a doll collecting duo from Australia. I'm celebrating a big milestone birthday in July, so there's going to be a revolving door of dollies arriving in our nursery this year. And this dolly is dolly number six and was gifted to me by my in-laws. Thank you so much for your beautiful gift and your kindness and thoughtfulness. I love and appreciate you both. From the box, you can tell that this doll is from Ashton Drake. I love their manufactured dolls because they're realistic and they retail at an affordable price point. And I'm really excited about opening this box because I've been wanting this dolly for a really long time. She's actually been available in Australia for quite some time. I think even longer than the US. And I've kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And I know what um, Ashton Drake is like. One minute the doll's on the website and the next minute it isn't. So when my in-laws asked me what I wanted for my birthday, this was the obvious choice. I also plan to do an outfit change on this little dolly and a name reveal. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video so I can give you some advice on what size clothes and shoes this doll wears, as well as finding out what name I've chosen. <gasps> so let's get started. Wow, I'm actually a little bit nervous about opening up this box. I'm so nervous. I hope she's everything that I dreamed that she would be. Can anyone guess who it is? Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Oh my gosh, she's so pretty. Look at her beautiful blue eyes. Oh my gosh, they're like aqua. It's Emma, the fledging mum doll. Isn't she gorgeous? gorgeous i'm going to get her out of the packaging so we can take a better look at her so here she is out in the back garden doesn't she look so adorable oh with her little baby cheeks now she was created by master artist monica gerds exclusively for the Bradford Exchange. So I'll just show you the paperwork that she came with. This is the Certificate of Authenticity. So Emma, number 0567. So Emma's 61 centimetres tall. She's actually made out of a soft vinyl, not a hard vinyl. So let's take a closer look at her now the details. Look at her eyes, aren't they gorgeous? This gorgeous aqua, it's like aquamarine blue, just so stunning. She's got blonde hair that's been apparently hand rooted, which I'll check in just a moment, and it's been fashioned from faux mohair. It's very soft, and she's dressed in this really gorgeous custom vintage. A farm themed outfit. So her dress or dungaree, it's a sweet maize yellow colour and it's made from um, linen fabric and it's got these gorgeous embroidered daisies. I love all the navy blue trim and there's some lovely details down the bottom of the dress here as well. That's really pretty. And she's wearing this really gorgeous blue checkered scarf. Again, adorned with the sweet daisy design. And her hair is in these really sweet plaits. 
and I love the uh, daisy hair ties. That's really sweet. I really like the way that Ashton Drake ties in all the details very beautifully on their outfits for their dolls. Comes with these three baby chicks. I just think they're so gorgeous and very appropriate for the um, farm theme. And her toenails, they've been beautifully painted with the white tips. Obviously not natural looking like a reborn doll, but very nice for a manufactured doll. Her fingernails have been painted beautifully as well. The biggest surprise is the vinyl is soft. It's a soft vinyl. And she actually has armature, so she's poseable, which I'll just show you in a moment as well. I'm actually going to remove all her clothing now and get her dressed into something else just so you can get a better idea of her proportions and what size clothing that she wears. So you can see that she has three quarter soft vinyl arms and legs and there's also a chest plate. She does have armature which I'll show you shortly for um, easier posing and there is a cloth body. This doll is really designed to sit and not stand. So let's just take a little closer look at her features. So here's the chest plate. That's a hard plastic and her face is a softer vinyl but the neck is definitely plastic and you can see that this vinyl is soft and you can you can pose see the arms now sitting upright like that so she's she's definitely poseable which is a nice feature one thing i was a little bit disappointed with and this sometimes happens with manufactured dolls the quality control is not there sometimes i'm actually going to have to go in and now repair that so i would say that this doll has been slightly overstuffed Hence the reason why the stitching is coming undone here because you can see it has been stitched and it's coming apart now. Uh, one feature that I'd like to bring to your attention that's falsely advertised on certainly the Ashton Drake website here in Australia, which is the Bradford Exchange. This is a wig. It's not hand-rooted hair as described on their website so just to let you know that I know sometimes that's a deal breaker for some people it's not for me but she actually has a wig and not hand rooted hair from the back you can definitely see that this is a wig it's not hand rooted as listed on the Bradford Exchange website. So now I'm going to change her into a new outfit so I can give you some advice on what size clothes and shoes she fits into and then I'm going to reveal her name to you afterwards. So this is the new outfit that I've changed her into. Isn't it lovely? I love all the pink and the bows. It really suits her. The pearls and the bling, just so adorable. So here's all the lovely details on her outfit. There is this beautiful bow with the pearl and bling detail. I pop some bows in her hair. That same bow detail is on the front of the dress and there's this beautiful lace detail on the bodice and the arms. Gorgeous chul and beautiful lace details down the bottom. And here are her matching shoes. Just so gorgeous. Oh, she's so precious. What I found is she's an interesting doll to try and fit clothes on because she has these long legs. So technically, she should wear a triple zero going by her measurements. She does in a top, in the bottoms I've found a double zero fits her much better and this outfit is a double zero. So to exchange that into uh, sizings for around the world, a triple zero in Australia is zero to three months and a double zero is 
three to six months. So what I found is for her bottoms, probably three to six months, and tops, she can get away with um, zero to three months. However, if you wanted to go bigger in size with the top, that would be fine because she actually has the chest plate. So the little shoes that she's got on came in the set and they actually don't have a size in them, but I have checked and she is a size one. And as you can see in Europe, that's a size 16. In Australia and the UK, it's a size one. And apparently in the US, it's a size two. So that's what size shoe she takes. So now for her name reveal, please welcome Holly. Thank you so much for watching our Ashton Drake Gallery's Emma, the Fledging Mum doll box opening. If you liked this video, please give it a like. And if you're new here today and enjoyed watching this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. Blessings to all our dear Dolly friends, wherever you are in the world. We love you and look forward to you joining us in our next video. Bye, everyone. Bye for now. Bye.